Welcome to another episode of Can We Call It AI Vigos. In today's episode, we'll be discussing computer vision, which is basically how computers can learn to understand images the same way we do. It involves developing algorithms and models that enable computers to recognize objects, people, and other elements in images. You might be most familiar with computer vision in its manifestations as Face ID and reCAPTCHA. Face ID is a facial recognition system used for security purposes, while reCAPTCHA is a way of using humans to train computer vision models. But how does your phone even make Face ID work? The first step is image acquisition. If you've ever set up Face ID, you may recall having to scan your face from several angles to provide the computer with images. The second step is pre-processing, which is basically just editing the image so that it's easier for the computer to interpret. This can mean using things such as filtering, resizing, and color correction. After that, we've got feature extraction. In the case of Face ID, the algorithm looks for specific characteristics of your face, such as the distance between your eyes or the shape of your lips. Next, identified facial features are used to classify the image with ML techniques such as neural networks, decision trees, and vector support machines. Lastly, we'll extract additional information with feature tracking, scene segmentation, and recognition. Ta-da! Now your face is officially recognizable by a computer. Now, let's talk about reCAPTCHA, a service provided by Google which you've probably used before. It asks you to decipher images that contain distorted text. These images are taken from scanned books that are being digitized by the Internet Archive, and the goal is to use reCAPTCHA to help transcribe the text. When a user completes a reCAPTCHA challenge, they are shown an image with distorted text and asked to type that text into a box. If their response is correct, it's used to help transcribe the text and improve the accuracy of the digitization process. This way, Google's computer vision base is able to gather a lot of data to improve the performance of computer vision algorithms. This data is used to train ML algorithms to recognize texts and images that have been distorted. It's a win-win for both parties. Overall, the goal of computer vision is to enable computers to interpret and understand images and videos in a way that is similar to how humans do it, by recognizing patterns, objects and relationships in visual data. And it if you'd like to learn more about AI for free, you can take the AI SG courses linked in the description below and stay tuned for more episodes.